Traveling in and outside the loop from Memorial to the Medical Center. Information you want to improve your day and make your life better. Live from the Channel 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. All right, so let's meet our panel of medical experts. Please welcome to the show Dr. Stephen Hotze with the Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Uh, the first question I'm going to ask you is actually an email question that uh, Louise had sent in from Houston. And she says, my doctor told me I was at high risk for osteoporosis. Would hormone therapy help? And the answer is yes, it would. Uh, several things, as we age, our hormone levels decline, and the key hormone that declines is progesterone in, in females, mm -hmm. testosterone in males, and women inevitably will become osteopenic osteoporosis, they lose bone mass. So what we recommend is uh, natural approaches. We use calcium and magnesium. We do hormonal replenishment program, and we also recommend weight-bearing exercise. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, are there certain people that are also more prone to osteoporosis? I know my doctor told me, he goes, look, well, you're never getting anytime soon. Well, uh, thinner people tend to be. That's the reason why my and, doctor probably and, told me that. <laughs> <laughs> and, smo and, smo and smokers tend to be. Huh. Okay. We have a caller on the line this morning, Michelle. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. What's your question? I was recently diagnosed with fibromyalgia uh, mm -hmm. in severe pain, and I'm only 40, and I, I just don't know what to do anymore. It's an exacerbation. Some weeks I'm fine, and some weeks I'm just in severe pain. I think it's real important. Fibromyalgia is a syndrome. It's not a diagnosis. It's right. a syndrome of, of, of symptoms. The treatment is thyroid. 99% ah. of the time it's hypothyroidism that's undiagnosed. Uh, my question was around glutathione, and I've been told that mine was very low and that I needed some help getting it uh, brought up, and um, also about bioidenticals, if that's something that would glutathione. help. Glutathione. Let's start with glutathione, because <laughs> that's a mystery to me. Okay, which one of you want to take that one? Well, glutathione is used by a lot of physicians that treat chronic fatigue syndrome. We don't use that. At our, at our center at all. Uh, we use, uh, although we include that in our vitamin protocol, some people give IV glutathione. Our experiences with the people that have done that really hadn't helped them much, and that's usually because they have another problem which you wanted to address, and that's bioidentical hormones. As a woman or man ages, her hormone levels, or hormone levels will decline, and in women they become imbalanced, and that can cause a host of problems we'll talk about later in the program. Coming up next, there's a lot of confusion about hormones and how they can impact your life. Dr. Stephen Hotze will stick around to answer some of the most common questions about bioidentical hormones and how an imbalance in hormone levels can wreak havoc in your life. Welcome back. We're still taking your health and medical questions this morning. You can email us at greatdayhouston at khou.com or call us at 713-284-1055. It's one of the most widely discussed topics in health right now, hormones, but despite increased attention, there's still much confusion about the role hormones play in the body. Welcome Dr. Stephen Hotze with Hotze Health and Wellness Center to show us what's going on in our body. All right, uh, hormones is such a big deal in our bodies, but it seems like it's been a, not really a lot of attention focused on it like in medical school. Um, a lot of doctors like you are coming out and now saying, look, hormones rule the body. Um, we have a member of our audience who has a question that you say is probably related to hormones. Hi there. Hi. Good morning. My name is Gail Jennings, and when I'm sleeping at night, about every 30 minutes, I wake up with just intense heat coming from inside my body and it's like it wakes me up and I'm just so uncomfortable and is that what we call a hot flash it is and Gail what do you think's causing the problem well I think I'm in menopause and so well, that's <laughs> menopause of course is when a woman's uh, menopause is when a woman ceases menstruating we lead up to that over a five-year period, premenopausal, and women will experience a decline in their estrogen hormone, and when that happens, the body reacts to that and causes hot flashes and night sweats, and that's a very common symptom associated with menopause. It's easily treated by using biologically identical estrogen. In combination with progesterone, I might say, they can alleviate those symptoms and problems by replenishing the declining hormonal stores in your body. So just keeping you balanced. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Gail. Uh, there was something during the panel that you said earlier that I want to touch more on because I know so many people who are suffering from fibromyalgia, and again, it seems like a mystery to them. They don't know, is it a disease? Is it a syndrome? Is it, what is it? And you said hypothyroidism. Hi, it's caused by hypothyroidism. I think, it's, uh, I think it's not correct to make a diagnosis of fibromyalgia because all you're doing is describing a symptom. Fibromyalgia is a Latin term for 
muscle and joint pain mm -hmm. or fascial pain around the muscles. And the question should be when a doctor diagnoses you, when you go in and say, my joint and muscles ache, it hurt all over, and he goes, you got fibromyalgia, your question should be, why do I have fibromyalgia? Right. That's not a diagnosis itself. If you let him stop there, then he'll put you on anti-inflammatories, antidepressants, You're a host of other symptoms. You're treating symptoms. The cause of uh, fibromyalgia, which is joint muscle aches and pains, which are commonly associated with fatigue and uh, weight gain and insomnia and, and mood swings and sluggish bowels and, and hair falling out. All See, I had all those it's things. It's hypothyroidism until proven otherwise. And so a woman that has a problem or a man has a problem with that deserves a clinical trial of thyroid, armor thyroid. And there's actually research to back that. Sure, absolutely. Dr. Dr. Uh, Lowe did tremendous research on that. And in our center, we see tons of people coming in with these symptoms and, and diagnosis of fibromyalgia, which are easily corrected with armor thyroid, natural thyroid. I mentioned earlier that there's a, um, so much buzz about hormones now. I remember when Suzanne Summers, I think the last time I saw her was like 1997, what? and she started talking about this thing called hormones. Right. We kept looking at her going, you have so much energy, you look so young, you she looks so great, doesn't she? And um, you're mentioned in her book. Right. and uh, She wrote a chapter it, about me, as a matter of yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting because it, what she was saying back then has now grabbed more traction. But the reason why it's grabbed that traction is that people are getting relief finally. Well, uh, we, we, and we were going to talk about what's the difference in biologically identical <clears throat> and, and synthetic hormones. And I like to say it like this. There's an old saying we have. Uh, things aren't always as they seem. Mm -hmm. Skim milk is often passed off as cream. And so the synthetic hormones are counterfeits to the natural hormones which our bodies made in adequate amounts when we were younger. As we age, they decline. Right. Well, reasonably, and common sense tells you, just put the same molecules back in your body, identical molecules that your body used to make. So your body doesn't realize that it's declining. Right, but the drug companies can't patent those, so they create new molecules that have the same, very similar uh, actions as the hormones, but they're not easily metabolized by the body. They're counterfeit. They're a different molecular structure. It's the difference between buying a silk blouse and a polyester blouse. Yeah. It's still a blouse, it's but... It's a blouse, but silk is the real thing. Polyester uh, is, 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 yeah. is a synthetic. So you're saying like with the synthetic, the, what the body does is may, it may use what it simply has to to get by but doesn't like it. But well, if you give it, it bioidentical, it feels like nothing ever went wrong. Right. It feels like it's your body your body think the rest of your body thinks the organs are making the adequate amount of hormones that we used to make. It's kinda like when the a gas tank gets low, you want to replenish it and fill it back right. up. And so as your hormone levels decline, the simple thing to do is replenish the hormones and put them in balance. You touched on this, um, but I want you to explain it further, because there are some doctors who say, Well, bioidentical, the jury's kinda still out on that versus the synthetic. Well, I think it's hit a tipping point. As you know, Oprah had a big program mm -hmm. about it. I don't know if she's on them or not. Probably is. Yeah. Had a great program, and Suzanne Summers has been promoting it. Physicians like myself who approach health and wellness from a natural point of view have been promoting it. We've only treated 15,000 patients at our center. I don't think the jury's out. It's in. And yeah. Well, they I, work. I know that I take it. They work. And I can just tell and you they that work. What, I, what I was dealing with before, the fatigue, the depression, the hair falling out, all that stuff went away almost immediately. So... I mean, well, high five. I'm not a doctor, that. but, <laughs> but it, I play hey, one on TV. What I'll we bet. look no. for, <laughs> there's another saying, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Does it work or not? Do you feel better or not? I feel you better. You feel bad on the counterfeit? You feel good on the natural? Hey, is that, un is that unexpected? What a novel idea. We're going to put something natural <laughs> in our bodies. <laughs> All right. Dr. Hotze, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. For more information on the Hotze Health and Wellness Center, you can call 877-698-8698 or log on to HotzeHWC.com. You can also catch Dr. Hotze every Monday through Friday from noon to 1 p.m. on 700 a.m. KSEV.